let's go tequila hunting. Today, we're going to Costco, but there's a bit of a problem. Uh, I don't have a Costco membership, and someone did tell me that uh, you don't need one to buy alcohol in Costco in Massachusetts, so we're gonna test that theory out and hopefully I don't look like an idiot. Where is the alcohol? I wonder what's back there. Pardon me, sorry. And what is it that you have there? It's oatmeal? Yes. Oh. Don't mind if I do? After quite a bit of looking, I think we found it. Ah, uh, okay. So, first thing we stumble upon is their signature tequila. And stick around to the end because we're going to taste this one and then review it at the end of the video. If that is, I can buy it. I'm not sure what it tastes like yet, but that price is pretty good. Their Blanco for a, almost like a two liter is like 30 bucks. That's very cheap. Stumbled upon is uh, my worst enemy. <laughs> Casamigos, please avoid this stuff like the plague. Strange, this one does not have that much stuff in it. So upon further inspection, this this is the tequila aisle. This is it. They have their tequila añejo, their reposado, Casamigos, and their Blanco. As far as I know, that's their only options here. Which made me driving all the way out here. Very frustrating. Oh, I spoke too soon, they have a margarita mix. Tons of beer, craft beer, local beer. Launch mostly wine. They seem to have a good selection of like whiskeys and things like that. Yeah. So someone told me that I didn't need a Costco membership to buy alcohol. Is that true? It's true. Just no trade. Yes, it works. So buying tequila at Costco without a membership, it it is true. It is work. But what does this actually taste like? So. Kirkland's Signature Tequila Reposado. Now, to be perfectly honest with you, this is probably the most highly requested brand that people want me to talk about across all of my social media platforms. Every single day I'm getting comments about reviewing this tequila. It's actually the entire reason I drove 40 minutes to the closest Costco to try and even buy this. I know it was a little bit disappointing because I didn't realize that that Costco only had this brand in Casamigos, which it's not a, the greatest sign, to be perfectly honest with you. I want to like this, right? But, but before we try it and taste it and see what I actually think, let's talk about what we do know about it. And so like, what's to like about it? Well, uh, the branding isn't terrible. Obviously it says Kirkland Reposado Tequila on it. And so that, you know, you know automatically it is a Kirkland brand. And if you're one of those Costco homies, the ones who are like ride or die for Costco, I'm sure you've tried this and like, you thought, oh my God, Costco, my favorite place on the planet, makes a tequila, I should try it. So. This is a tequila, this is a liter, it cost me about $20. So from a price standpoint, amazing. So that already gets some points there in terms of being budget friendly and cost effective. Now, I'm worried that that might be one of the only good things about it. And so this one was made at Nome 1173. This is a distillery that is responsible for about 22 brands currently in circulation, and they used to be known for about 16 others. But uh, if you look online on Tequila Matchmaker, it says that they were produced at three other gnomes prior to this one. So who knows why that might be. People really are hot about this, and I'm sure it's because they think it's a cheap and possibly good tequila, but I have my reservation. I know Costco is kind of known for their, you know, Kirkland signature spirits, which allows them to, you know, have their signature version of cocktails where they make the most money. And obviously they're going to push it the hardest, um, which I find fascinating because in the Costco I went to, it was the only thing they were selling along with, of course, Casamigos. So it makes sense why they would do it because it would give them the most money. Now let's taste this and talk about it. So it's nice, light in color. It doesn't seem like it was artificially uh, darkened. So that's a good sign. On the nose, I get a lot of ethanol, a lot of like, you know, the alcohol aroma. Um, though I'm not, I'm not picking up too much roasted cooked agave. I, it's just, it just seems to be like a little sweetness and the alcohol flavor, which, and the alcohol. It seems to have just like a little bit of sweet aroma to it and just the alcohol aroma. Right, what does it taste like? Oh, no, 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 no. So I am getting just a straight punch of alcohol right in the mouth. I get that artificial sweetness right on the back end. It feels a little bit thicker. Strange, it doesn't have an agave flavor. It just tastes like cotton candy uh, and like, artificial flavoring it just ah uh, man and i know people are obsessed with this because i'm assuming the price point is what drove them to buy it but i'm sorry i cannot sit here and tell you that this is a good tequila it's 
And let's put it into context. Costco is a giant wholesaler. They have been, they have stores everywhere across the country and they sell a ton of this. And so to make this, I don't think that they could make it without cutting corners at the scale that they are making this at. And I just, it's important to talk about the use of additives. If you had, if I had to guess, I would say that this does have additives in it just from that artificial flavor standpoint. But as much as I maybe wanted to like this because of how incredibly excited you all were about it, I just, I can't recommend it. I'm sorry. I just, it doesn't taste right to me. And even though the price is good, it's just, I don't like it. I really don't. I'm sorry. But if you do want to see what tequilas I would recommend, I have an entire other video that you can check out right here next.